Hello and welcome to another Wolf Time gaming video. Today I'm going to be customising my A-Wings for use in Star Wars Armada, a game by Fantasy Flight Games. Now these are one of my favourite ships, you don't really see them uh, in the films at all really. Um, but they, they, they look more like a, a racing car, more like a little hot rod, uh, just a little fighter, um, absolutely fantastic. But before we get started on the painting, as usual, let's get the kettle on. Okay, so to start off, I went with quite a light grey in this uh, in this instance, and I used the administration grey from Citadel Miniatures. Uh, you can see for the actual A wings themselves are a lot lighter than maybe the X wings and Y wings, where they're a lot darker. These are all, almost a, a, a white or a cream colour, so I wanted to go with a really light grey. Um, to, to actually get that sort of effect. Now I, I absolutely love these ships. I think they're fantastic. Um, I really wish they saw more more screen time. I know there's quite a lot in uh, first few seasons of Star Wars Rebels. You do see some like the the best on the screen there. Um, and I, I think they're absolutely great. I I, I really do like uh, like these. I can't wait to get them on the actual tabletop uh, and see how they play out. There's a few facts I actually looked up about the, um, the actual A-wing itself. Um, obviously, the the, the rebel um, rebel starship or starfighter um, can see for high speed surgical strikes, deep reconnaissance, and escort fighter duty. So you think of maybe the the British Royal Air Force as, as like a typhoon um, style, and they they do almost look that sort of triangular shape with the with the wings. It sort of makes sense with the, them being quite fast. Um, they, they actually first appeared in Return of the Jedi, as I was just talking about. Um, one of the fastest actual vessels in Star Wars canon, with the advantage of being the smallest hyperspace drive equipped craft without relying on a carrier, which I think is really cool. Though in, in uh, some of the series, the Star Wars Rebel series, I know we do see them um, alongside a few other vessels as well uh, that they're actually um, escorting, I suppose. So not while well, they're not a carrier, uh, they've got that support vessel there. Um, but this allows the vessel to get itself out um, uh, from from an area as well without actually um, being destroyed or if the, the larger vessels are destroyed it can actually get itself out and extradite itself out uh, of enemy territory or hostile territory which I think is pretty cool really uh, but onto painting anyway so we've got the base coat down of administration grey um, so the the next uh, the next color we're actually going to go to is Corvus Black. Now, if you look at the the weapons, they're, they're not really black on the side. You have got almost like a black sort of what looks like a little bit of a missile really on the side there. That I just wanted to pick the detail out, and also the cockpit. Now the cockpit in this this vessel is quite small. You can see on just on the the uh, Canon image there that the the size of the pilot is quite big in comparison, um, and some of the rear shots as well. Um, just for, for the vessel to do show black areas sort of in between the engines so I wanted to put, pull that out really and uh, make that stand out from the rest of it now you, you haven't really got to do a lot of a lot of work with this um, this model and these models to actually get them looking good I mean they're already uh, in my mind looking better with just the grey and the black because you people have asked me the um, detailing on how uh, uh, what brushes I'm using and that separate, sort of thing with these uh, now, this particular brush is not army painter brush you can find these online they're actually separate to the, 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 the army painter and you'll, you'll find their brushes and their paints and things quite nicely as well the actual brush I'm using is insane detail and you can pick this up in the starter set you don't need to use this you can use larger brushes if you wanted to um, and get the same effect uh, really you just have to make sure that you do as you dip in the paint in the brush don't overload the paint make sure you use a palette and try and get a little bit of the paint off the brush onto your palette or something similar um, just essentially so you're not glooping it on there and you, it doesn't want it doesn't then run into any areas you don't want it you only need to actually need a small amount of paint on a brush to get an, to get the effect um, 
if if it doesn't cover the area you're wanting to, don't try and keep putting more and more paint on. Uh, that doesn't it does that doesn't work. It essentially, just it gets thicker and thicker in some areas and thinner in others, and you can still see through it. Wait till the actual paint dries itself, and then put a second coat over the top of it um, after after leaving it to dry because. Um, then what you'll get is a com is a complete block of colour rather than uh, it being quite um, um, a smattering of colour or you're being able to see the the plastic underneath or uh, the undercoat underneath depending on what you what you do with this uh, with the painting. Some of you may be thinking, oh, why do I want to do this? They're so small. Why do you why do you even want to be painting these things? But I think it really adds to that fully immersive gameplay, that fully immersive experience that you can get with playing with your friends or family or in, even in tournaments. I think you'll make your ship stand out from the rest. I know a lot of people do paint their capital ships. And I'm not too keen on that, to be honest. I like my ships to look like they do in the films or the, uh, the TV shows. Um, but d doing these smaller details on them, I think, really works. So the next colour we used um, is the actual um, squadron colours themselves and what I've done is I've gone with the red to initially uh, just to the rear of the cockpit as you can see in the in the image on the screen there uh, and also I've got, gone with the front. There are red around the engines, I, I didn't do that in the end, I mean it would have been easy, easy to do that. Um, it's not an issue to be able to uh, paint that. I don't think. I think it would have been quite easy to go on there. I just decided against it in the end. I thought they they looked good enough without having uh, the engine around the edges of the engines painted. To be honest with you, but I do like this stripe. It's a bit of a go faster stripe, I suppose. Um, just on the front of the the vessel, going into the rear of the cockpit there. Um, so the first three uh, I use red. You can see what also I've done here is I've put them on the plastic bases purely because it makes it easier to to control. Um, the actual models and hold them steady. What you want to do is anchor your wrist almost onto the table uh, with resting the, the uh, miniatures on there as well. But min resting the actual small ship on the table would be quite difficult to hold it still. So to put them into the, onto the actual stand makes it a lot easier and a lot easier to paint. Or in my mind it does anyway. And I found it a lot easier um, to paint it this way. Uh, with the red, again, same with the other colours, what I was saying, don't try and pile it on there. Make sure if... if if you don't get uh, complete coverage, let it dry and come back to it later and put it on again uh, just to give it that, that nice colour. So the, the second squadron, um, I didn't want to go with the red, to be honest. I didn't want all of them to be red. So I decided, what I decided to do was go uh, with the blue colour. Uh, to do this, I used Calgar blue. Um, to really, uh, It's a really quite light blue, quite sky blue. I didn't want to go too dark, so it would have gone black with the oil, which we'll come on to in a little while. So I went on with this, this sort of sky blue colour. Um, I thought it really they look really nice. I think the A wings in Rebels are actually a blue colour as well, which is a little bit of a nod to the cannon uh, there, really. And especially with uh, the fleets I'm trying to build, I'm trying to build quite a cannon fleet, so they 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 do match quite well. But you could pretty much choose any colour you want. They're your ships. Um, you know, the size of the universe, the, the amount of starships that the rebels would have been fighting with and um, the the Republic afterwards and before would have had. There's going to be countless designs and styles. I think if you go actually do a Google search online, there's loads of weirds and wonderful uh, designs for these ships and you can get sort of um, diagonal lines across them. There's one I saw with sort of a star shape on, which I thought looked really effective. Um, but in this instance, because they're only small, I don't think you need to go into that much detail. But just adding this splash of colour really, really does show that they're all part of the same squadron um, and yeah, and they'll, they'll fight well together. Okay, so now we're on to the step where we want to darken that down, as I was just talking about. And to do that, I use null oil. Uh, now, what you want to do is actually get quite a lot of this on, on the brush and just put it on there. As you can see, when it goes onto there, what it does, it's so thin um, and it's it, it just flows into the recesses of the of the vessel. So if you've got something with loads and loads of detail on that's all one block colour, you tend to lose it quite a lot. You can see around the engine there, it looks really nicely. It almost adds that natural shade um, for you without hardly any effort. And you can bring up the lighter colours again with the, the sides of the vessel or um, on the actual sort of wings and tail area of the vessel if you wanted to by going back over it with a grey and just leaving that recessed area, the darker colour. And it looks quite effective by doing that. But I wanted these to be quite dirty because at the end of the day, it's part of the rebellion. They've been fight they're fighting for a, a while now against the Empire. Um, trying to, to, to regain their freedom, uh, so I wanted these to look quite dirty uh, for that reason really. 
Um, you can see there in, in comparison, the red red squadron in comparison with the blue squadron, you've already got that shading around the, t the tail areas and they look absolutely fantastic. Um, it, what it also does is tend to, if you use lots of different colours, it blends them all together because it gives you a coating over the top of all those colours and it blends them all together. So they start to look really, really nice as well. Uh, what you do notice there on the, on the backs of the ships, I haven't actually painted their engines yet. And that's because I do want them to the engines to shine in comparison to the rest of the the model, really, uh, which is what step we're actually coming on to now. So for the engines themselves, um, having a look through some of the cannon shots, they're actually quite a bright yellow, or what I think of as a bright yellow. So I used Avalanche Sunset with this, and I just dotted it onto the engine area. Um, and it's done essentially it's that easy it's really easy effect to get and it does stand out quite a lot if you put the null null on after it it look quite dark now you can see there for the, the finished uh, vessels themselves i think they look great you can see the yellow is really shining up really nicely um, and the squadron markings make them stand out a lot more you think of that, what they actually come in in that sort of creamy gray color i think these look absolutely fantastic in comparison and when you've got them all together as part of your fleet i mean they look unbelievable um in comparison to to what you get out of the box and the very minimal effort really uh, to get this this sort of an effect so i definitely re recommend doing it Thanks so much for watching guys, uh, make sure you, you like the video, comment down below, tell me what you think, um, also make sure you subscribe to see any future videos, I've got a few other videos coming out and I'll be doing a little bit more Armada stuff because I love the game. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next one.